ذكر الكرام وسلما صلى عليه الله في ذكر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على رسوله الكريم اما بعد The setting of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam again he lived the life of a master a leader a teacher a commander however the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for himself he preferred the life of a pauper the life of a humble individual the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was when he would sit down he would sit down in those positions which arabs of his time would look at him and say o oh, messenger of allah what type of seating position is this not because they hadn't seen such a seating position before and he was sitting in a very weird or fashionable way but it was because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was sitting in a very humble way opposing his title rasul of allah the leader of this world the leader of the akhirah how is a master how is a leader sitting in such a humble way that was that what which astonished them to in one narration is reported that when the sahabi saw rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sitting down in such a humbling way oh filled up his heart and he began to tremble So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was sit down the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would not recline on anything uh, when it came to eating when the Prophet was generally sitting down then he would at times recline as for the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sitting down uh, generally in the masjid the Prophet says would not generally sit down uh, cross legged you know the position that we know and this is a position which is disliked for us to sit in The Prophet generally would sit down either in the position known as the At-Tahiyyah position, in the Tashahud position, or the Prophet would sit down in a similar way but with either one of the knees erect. And another way the Prophet would sit down is when the Prophet would put both his feet on the floor in a squatting position but all the way down to the floor. So these are three manners in which the Prophet would generally sit down to eat food or when he was generally sitting around other individuals. and occasionally the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he would break these three positions and sit down reclined with either one of his knees erect and in and another position was where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would sit down reclining with both his legs stretched out so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow me and you to learn from the sitting positions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allow us to be humble in our every walk of life amen ya habib allah ya rasul يا yeah.